Question B9. What is the largest number of reflex angles it is possible to have in a quadrilateral? Now, this question can either be the hardest question in the world or really, really simple if you spend a bit of time thinking about it. Think about what you know. You know that a quadrilateral adds up to 360 degrees. The angles add up to 360 degrees. And you know that a reflex angle has to be greater than 180 degrees. So if you think about it, you could definitely have one reflex angle, but you can't possibly have two. Because as soon as you have two reflex angles, that means you would have two angles which are greater than 180 degrees. And if you've got two angles, even if they were just both one, uh, 181 degrees, one degree over each, um, then that means you would end up with 362 degrees. And that can't possibly happen because that's only two angles and a quadrilateral has got to have four angles. So if two of your angles have already taken you over 360, that's not going to work, is it? So you can't possibly have two reflex angles. You can only have one reflex angle. Then before we leave the question here, we should think about what that could actually look like. So you could start with your reflex angle like this. There's a reflex angle. And then you could just turn the rest of the um, sides into a quadrilateral. So you could join up there like that and then join the other one up here as well. So almost like an arrowhead. Um, you've got in the shape that I've just drawn there, you've got a reflex angle here, which is clearly bigger than 180. And then the other three angles you've got acute, would have to be acute. So you can have one reflex and three acute angles.